guys, up at Bartlett again. Let me just tell you about a little problem. Uh, yesterday, Dr. John and I were here. We caught 145 fish. Today, totally different scenario. We didn't, uh, we got a couple topwater fish and yesterday we had 40 topwater fish. So every day is different. Where we caught them yesterday, we did not catch them today. I do not, uh, I fish a different area almost every day. I don't have the same points, so if you need my GPS, I don't do GPS, okay? You just have to start going from point to point or one cove to another to catch these fish. And my partner, Randy Howe and I, we drove all over this place. We went as far up the river as we could. We wasted an hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes going up there. I think we caught a couple fish, small ones. So we covered a lot of water today. We ended up with 58 fish. So uh, that's not bad, but it, just to show you, 145 one day, 58 the next day. The hot worm today was the sangria. The little uh, sangria worm, the new one, David uh, Post 5150. That was real hot today. The morning dawn was good today. Um, 5150s, we did morning dawn on these. The main thing you had to do was dip that. You dip everything. I don't care if it's purple or whatever. They bite a lot better on that worm if you dip it, you know. I did catch a few on the, uh, these little head and uh, juniors, spots. Uh, Spook Jr. I did I get caught a few on that, but not much. They did not jump near as much as they did yesterday or the day before or the day before that. So keep moving around, keep trying worms. Drop shot was the best today. The flick shake was pretty good, and the little jig hooks that I make. Uh, these little suckers like this with the worm threaded all the way on there. We were threading that worm all the way on, and that's how we were catching a lot of our fish. Anywhere from 10 to 20 feet. Give it a try. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. You've been watching Fishing with Gary.